Hey guys. Hey, we're yeah, back. we're gonna park right here. We're back for the last day. We had to drive over today because we had to check out the hotel. But anyways, we're gonna go check out the expo one more time. Finally gonna make him play some games. He hasn't done it all weekend. I was dealing. Yeah. I got a yeah. bubble bobble too with manual, pretty excited. Yeah. So most definitely we're gonna play today. Yeah, definitely more games to come. It's raining. Hey, so we're here. And guess where we went first? Yeah, we went to Lo and behold, we came back to Forza. I'm looking here. Oh yeah, he's a big, big boy. That's some fine grass driving there. Two-lane grasshopper. Bus, bus, bus. It's the first car you wouldn't expect you to understand. talking about having the TV set up to play oh, Mario. Shit, yeah. It's right there. Why don't, you, why don't you just settle on in there and get you a, get you a couple worlds. Alright. Now I'm in my elevator. Actually. Oh god, you Gotta change the brightness for the CRT. Like old like just like old times, isn't it? <laughs> you lucky son 
of a guy. I got them all. Slade would be so pissed at me right now, even though he has no idea who I am. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've only beat this without a P wing like five times ever. <coughs> Guess I'll just beat it. <laughs> you did it. I hate you. You're welcome. from NBA Jam. That was yeah. kind of a neat little caveat for the weekend. The, uh, what was funny was we didn't even meet him at the expo. We was uh, we was eating supper and sit, we ran into him, talked to him for a few minutes. Yeah, and, shared the same hotel with him too. I yeah. talked to him that morning. Yeah, really cool guy. Um, and uh, and we got to meet John Riggs. He uh, he was the one dressed up with Doctor Robotnik. Yeah, he's so. the guy who does. Any, he works with NES Pursuit guy. Or he did a yeah. video with him, right? Yeah, he's yeah. I think he's done a few with him. Yeah, you um, really like those guys. Those uh. It's kind of what gave you inspiration to motivate this, isn't it? Yeah, a little yeah. bit. Well, I mean, a lot of them go into it. Pat is punk, ABGN, you know. Yeah. Been watching them for years. Yeah. But, maybe uh, maybe one day, uh, maybe one day we'll, we'll have more than three people that'll watch our show <laughs> and see what we do. We can only hope. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I had a pretty good haul too. Uh, came home with some rare games. Uh, I think we're going to show him right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's our collection that we brought home. Yeah. Uh, someone is very excited about this. Oh yeah, Sim that City was the 2000. first game I ever played on PC way back in 2003 on a gateway. <laughs> it was fantastic. Yeah. And uh, what's that? What's the one you got? The extremely rare one. The, For me, yeah. this is uh, super exciting. Bubble Bobble 2, and don't worry, I did not pay that. I actually did some trading on stuff I'd already yeah, had. Fantastic deal maker here. But uh, manual's in it. I took it out. It's uh, really good shape yeah. inside and out. He brought a tool with him to open it, to look inside to make sure it was a genuine thing. I so. brought the tools. I brought the cleaner. <clears throat> and I even asked the guy. I said, you going to be offended if I crack that open? He said, I'd be offended if you didn't. Right. And uh, he opened it up for me, showed me the board, and showed it was legit, and it was. Good so. Deal. uh so what's the what's the uh the obviously we all know what we love golf is. Yeah. But what's the uh Jaja's and Coral Coraline or yeah, Coraline. It's uh it's just a it's a kids movie made into a game. I just didn't even know they made it and it's kind of rare for the Wii. So uh I did some trading for that also. Yeah. A few uh, a couple of PS2 games and a GameCube game. Yeah. Pretty uh, good haul then, so. Yeah, but I tell you what, these are really cool. These yeah. are these are magnets. The guys there every year, and they're not just cheap made magnets. They're they're really cool. They uh, they look good, and he's got a big variety. 
of uh, different gaming ones. I, I mean, I fell in love with that one when I seen it, the 89 yeah, Turtles he, cab. He said he'll make anything you want to, just give him a heads up, so. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, really good stuff. I mean, there was so much more that, oh, you know, that's not there. Yeah, we there's so much to cover at that event that we talked with and dealt with and met with. and Well, it was a really good haul this year. Um, I'm really glad you got that NES game. One, you know, one of the last few you need. I think I'm under 50 to get a complete yeah. uh, license set. License and, uh, set, yeah. Yeah, pretty stoked. And again, I didn't have to pay anything for it. I just did some trading, so pretty exciting stuff for me. Yeah, it was. Uh, I was quite. I was quite proud of you for the deal. But, what was uh, What was great about it, though, and I know you were standing right there. I actually traded this guy on the left. And then he paid the guy on the right so that I could get the game. It yeah. Was, it was fantastic. Yeah, the stuff he took traded was so valued by the other guy, he paid for him to have a $600 video game. Yeah. And I talked to that guy every year. He's, yeah. he's a really good guy and yeah. uh, works well. Fan works fantastic bartermanship. Yeah. Is that a word, bartermanship? I don't know, but it, it is, is today. Now. It is now. Yeah. So. So, yeah, man. All right. Um, well, we're, we're going to do it again next year. I know that. Oh, yeah. So. And uh, look out. Maybe one of these games will be up on the channel here real soon. Yeah. So see you next time. See you guys.